Hi everyone, my name is Giuliano. In this video, I'll show you the new presentation mode in Microsoft Teams. The presenter view has a new look. There is the slides navigation at the bottom, slides notes on the right, and it is fully integrated in Teams. You can have a look to the conversation, you can check if someone has raised the hand for questions, and the audience can check previous slides during the presentation. Okay, enough talk, let's go forward and I'll show you every step. Let's go! Here I am on my PC and I have Microsoft Teams open. I am in a meeting and we are four people in this meeting. We have two presenters, me, Ligu, and two attendees, Adele Vance and Patti Fernandez. Let's start to explore now this new presenter view. All you need to do is click on the share content. Then you have the ability to select a previous PowerPoint file that you already opened. But I will select one that I have on my PC. Clicking on browse, I'm able to upload my PowerPoint presentation that I have locally on my PC. Here we go. Clicking on open, now this PowerPoint presentation will be uploaded. This is the new presenter view. Down below I have all participants to the meeting. Then I have here all slides of my PowerPoint presentation. This is a very nice feature because allows you to skip slides. For example, you can jump directly on the third one and you can go forward with the presentation. This is absolutely a good way to go. Here in this area I have my slides and on the right I can see the slides notes. On top, I have the ability to navigate back or forward with my slides. With the eye icon, I am able to prevent participants from moving through my slides. I'll show you in a bit. And finally, I have the button to stop presenting. Now, let's see how it looks like the presenter view from an attendee perspective. I am now Patti Fernandez, an attendee of this meeting. If I move down below here in this area, we can see a new navigation bar appearing. I can, with this button, basically move forward and back through the PowerPoint presentation. I can click to presenter. In this way, I am synchronized with the slide that the speaker is presenting right now. Now, Patti Fernandez has a question. He can easily click on the icon right hand. I am now back to the view of Giuliano. Thanks to the presenter view, I am now able to see that someone has raised the hand, Patti Fernandez in this case. The icon is even available in this area. I can now answer to the Patti Fernandez questions and go forward with my presentation. I want to avoid that attendees navigate through my slides. In order to do that, I have to click on the eye icon. I am now in the Patti Fernandez view and as you can see here, I am no longer able to navigate through the slides. I can only see the current slide. Now it's time for Ligu to take over Giuliano with the presentation. I am now Ligu and I am ready to take control of the presentation. I can easily do it by clicking on the take control button. And now as Ligu, I have control of the presentation. I am now in Teams back with Giuliano De Luca. I will take back my PowerPoint presentation because I have last thing to call out here. In the fourth slide, I embedded a form created with Microsoft Forms. Unfortunately, this is not yet supported in the presenter view. All right, that was a quick tutorial about the presenter view in Microsoft Teams. If you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned with my next videos. Put a comment down below if you want to see me cover any other topics in the future. This is exactly how I build my to-do list for my next videos. I hope to see you next time. Bye.